members, um, we have spent a lot of time together talking about a bill that I don't believe is good uh, for our state. Um, I am going to encourage us to not support it. Just a few uh, highlights that maybe we just didn't discuss, and I know it's pretty hard to believe that we didn't discuss everything. Um, uh, the provider tax is something that we didn't get done in this bill. That is a colossal, monumental mistake. Uh, we have to make sure if this bill gets done that we uh, get that back in some shape or form. Uh, we talked about the C cap in a way that we know that how it affects uh, young people. Um, members, I will also uh, let you know that DHS has determined from their account that over $470 million of savings through FY23 in this uh, budget will not be realized. I'll repeat that, $470 million is what they're saying uh, will not be realized through various fe uh, federal funding issues and others. Um, members, I don't believe that this budget actually works. I think that it is just a starting point uh, for negotiations, and I don't think that that's how we should govern. Uh, there are tons and tons of shifts that we didn't have a lot of time because of the late hour to get in. Uh, lots of things that are moving parts that uh, we're unable to track and that are um, and that look like it's uh, spending in the health care. We didn't spend a lot of time on uh, reinsurance or uh, the premium subsidies, but there's real uh, cost associated with the interaction with the federal government with that. So once again, uh, members, I could go on for a long time, but I don't want to get run out of the chambers today. So I would just suggest that we don't vote for this bill. And if we do, uh, we must uh, make sure uh, that it comes back in a much different uh, place than it uh, went out.